Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm Heidi Smith, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom in South Warwickshire. Um, and today I'm making another one of my art gallery uh, floral art suite um, uh, projects, um, which is um, using this suite in the catalogue, fine art floral, that's it. Couldn't, couldn't get my words out just for a change. So this is the suite, page 32 of the new catalogue, gorgeous florals, gold accents, gold leafing, lots of beautiful things and um, I'm focusing on the stamp set and die, coordinating dies that come with it, um, which include this lovely set of words. So you've got um, all of the sentiments on here, but you've got a die that says, just want to say. So you could coordinate that to say, just want to, or to say, or just to say. And so I've done, made this a, just a little lift up card. So just want to say. And then happy birthday is the little lift up on the inside. Um, so a bit of fun, a um, little bit of interaction uh, with the card, but they're really simple to make. Um, and um, yeah, just just a night, uh, just an, another way of, of using, um, of creating a stamp set, uh, a stamp set, creating a card that has a bit of fun. So I'm using these papers, which are in the in the suite, which are 12 by 12 papers, and you get. Uh, two sheets each of six designs of 12 by 12. You can see florals on the front there and then on the reverse you've got these lovely um, sort of painted gouache effect cards, um, sort of effects on, on the reverse in a plainer kind of colour. So um, I thought having made one in kind of the reds and pinks and oranges with the sort of bouquet of flowers I might try and do the same I thought with the um, with the large flower image, so just to mix it up a little bit, and also to show you our um, adhesive sheets. So what I'm what I have got um, is some um, yeah. We need to do some stamping. So I've got a piece of uh, whisper white. No, nope, that's not the one for stamping. I have got a piece of whisper white for my stamping. That's the measured bit um, which I've got here, and. Uh, you'll want to use your stamping pierce mat with this because they're photopolymer stamp sets and I thought as the colours um, in the paper are either pinks or blues I'd go for a bluish one so I've taken a couple of pieces of paper and I've taken chosen this one here which has kind of got um, sort of the lovely pretty peacock and pool party here as well as other colours I thought I'd bring out that lovely pretty peacock colour so I've got Pretty Peacock as my accent and I've got uh, Soft, this isn't Soft Sky, gosh that's going back a bit, um, I've got Pool Party for my main image. So I'm going to stamp my flower image in my Pool Party and then come in with the accent colour and what I try and do is kind of line up with this point and this one on these images. So there's kind of a pointy bit on the top left and a small solid bit these those bits there which are okay not a, not a bad job um, and then um, I want to stamp the leaves as well and let's do those in pool party pool party now let's do those in pretty peacock and now the dies that I'm using just literally fit over the top of those and these aren't designed, you know, they, they are designed to be sort of, so you get a nice outline around them. So just sort of get it till you're happy with it. I'm just using a little bit of post-it note tape on that. And I find with the leaf, I find it easiest to line the stem up within the die. So once I can see the stem within, um, within the outline of the die, I know I'm good to go. So that's what I'm going to pop through first. So I'll just take that and pop it through. And then I'll show you what I do with my, um, to get those words. And they are so easy to use. Okay, so there's those. Pop that away for the moment. So there's my floral image those away now because otherwise I will lose them 
and what I'm going to do now is use this large die. So I have cut a piece of um, cardstock which is big enough to have that whole image and I've cut a piece of our double-sided foam sheets. Now these are literally, they're like the dimensional material but just in a solid block. So all you do is you peel off the layer and add your card then pop that on top of it and pop that through your die cutting machine just as it is and just make sure it's all in place and when that comes out you will see that as you peel that away your words have got the double-sided foam, so they are already fabulously 3D. Now you can pop that through a couple of times if you want to, but honestly you can just peel those off and use them as they are. So, on to the other bits and pieces. Now we need to, um, having done our stamping and our die cutting, we want to create our card base. So I have got a piece of uh, Pretty Peacock cardstock. Um, and this is 28 by 10 and a half and you're going to score at 9 centimetres and 23 centimetres along the long edge. So 9 and at 23. I've then got, I've got a piece of Whisper White for my insert and that is 11 by uh, 11 and a half by 9. I'm just going to score that at 1 centimetre as well. So, and the other pieces I've actually already cut. So I have got some pool party. And my pool party I've cut one at 10 by 8 and a half and one at 10 by 4 and a half. And then DSP, uh, a piece that is 9.5 by 8 high, just check your orientation, and 9.5 by 4 centimetres um, in width. So those can go straight onto um, our card layers. So using the new seal, um, I just find I, I kind of do, a, it's not as much as a tick, it's just a kind of little lift. I've finished. What I haven't done is actually reinforce those creases on my card. So that's just pop run a bone folder over those. And you'll see those just meet perfectly like a sort of a, an offset gatefold card. Pop our layer onto the top there, and the pool party works so well with the pretty peacock, and it's a lovely combination. Um, if you if you like blues. And some are into the blues, some into the pinks. And it's just as well not all the same, isn't it? I vary. I think it, it, it depends on my mood. Um, I do quite like, I do rather like pinks. But I'm kind of more of a plummy, kind of purpley kind of colour rather than sugary pinks. Although, again, it depends on my mood. Okay, so add those layers to our card. Now, the next thing we want to do... is position this so that we can do our stamping. So what I would recommend here is that you use your stamping seal on that top edge. And you want to make sure that that is right in the middle. So if you put it flat, so add your glue, put it flat, and then just make sure that's nicely central and fold the top flap over and have it open like so and that'll give you um, the positioning for your happy birthday which you want to be literally just at the bottom there so if I grab my uh, in fact what I might do is actually I might do this one as I'm thinking of you hard. Uh, sadly I've got a um, those of you who follow me my nephew I remember a few years ago I had a brain a, a, brain tumour, I had a cyst on the brain, unfortunately we've got another cyst come back, so I think this card's probably going to go winging its way across to my sister-in-law. Um, so, so what I'm doing here is I'm holding that down and I wouldn't normally do this but stamping directly onto the card, oh look at that typical, I've just missed off the U, 
the end there. Let's see if I can draw a photopolymase that hopefully I can yeah, just about rescue that. What I would have done if I couldn't is I'd have die cut one of the scent, one of the stamp postage edge stamp pieces, and I would have put that in there, um, um, and to, to cover that up. Um, so it, there's always a way around these things. Um, so the only thing that's left to do is just to add a little bit of um, fine red tape to the side there. Uh, so I literally have just some, again, because you just want a really narrow border. Um, this is that sort of high tack tape, but it's just because it's so fine, um, I find it really good. You could potentially use a little um, Tombow. Um, and just put a fine, very fine trail of Tombow down there. There we go. So just fold that up and it just catches the front edge of, of that. So now we can add our words. So just be careful, just be aware of, of that very top one, our little the top of our J. So I just pull that out like so. So I'm going to put my just adding a little dot above. Um, and where you've got those middle bits, just pop those out with your um, either pokey tool or your take your pick tool, because obviously you don't want those. Should have done that before. There we go. doing there is, is just releasing it a little bit and what I'm going to do is what I should have done in the first place which is take out those central bits that I'm not going to want um, so that I can get my complete word out. I think I must have popped my other one out through a couple of times. This one is proving to be more difficult than I've ever experienced before in any of these. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, it just eases out, she says. I'm making this a real meal of this, aren't I? I may, be, I may not be using my want after all. Oh, God. Right, okay, all right. There we go, right, now I can get my Right, <laughs> talk about making a meal of it, I don't know. Right, here we go. So I probably, sh I think I probably should have popped this through a second time, just in a different orientation, just to get that through. I might even, can I lock that back in? So that's the other thing you can do is you can put things through once you've die cut them. If you kind of lock them in place, um, then you will find that they will recut. Not ideal when you've mangled them the way I have. Let's have a look. So have I? Ah. No, I think I'm going to have to, to die cut that one again. Never mind. Right, let's get the flower um, image on there anyway. So I'm going to pop my flower on the top half and um, attach my stem behind it. So with my flower, I'm just going to position that. 
and see where that needs to sit. So quite a long way up, so I'm just going to make sure that my, I attach my stem. And so I'm going to put glue onto my stem rather than onto the back of the flower to pop it out of the way. And if I tuck one leaf behind and one leaf in front, like so, and then I'm just going to put some glue onto the front there, or even onto the back. There we go. So, how am I doing on time? Okay, so very quickly then, a scrap of card, scrap of, of the foam. I'm going to position that on my say there, pop that straight through. And this time I will just rotate that and put it back through. And hopefully it will come out perfect. Oh, there we go. Here we go. That's clearly much better. Take that out. And so just peel that away. There we go. And you can see that has just popped out this time. That second run through is what was needed. I just want to say, yeah. <laughs> and I eventually get a just want to say either thinking of you or happy birthday. Either way, got two lovely cards and using that a die um, to create some words don't do what I do make sure you put it through put it back through again or check the te check your machine and make sure it is um, it, it is uh, nice and tight when you're uh, when you're die cutting thanks for watching if you'd like to purchase any of the products pop along to my blog at flutter by Heidi and you'll find the links to the products or if you go to the description bar below this video you'll also find the um, links to the items there and just um, yeah pop them in your basket and I'd love, love it if you chose as your demonstrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.